In this Isonine training video, we will discuss the necessary steps needed to retrofit a vented attic with Isonine spray foam. Before beginning, discuss the project with the homeowner, including all health and safety considerations. Instruct the homeowner to remove all portable personal belongings from the work area. Place warning signs on the attic access door restricting entry to the attic space to workers wearing the prescribed full personal protective equipment. Place tarps or polyethylene on floors leading to the work area. Shut off all forced air HVAC systems. Seal off any openings that separate the work area from the rest of the building. Place a suitably sized exhaust fan capable of removing up to 40 air changes per hour from the work area such that it vents directly to the exterior away from the building and begin exhausting air from the space. To calculate ventilation requirements for this space, refer to Isonine's training video on ventilation requirements and use the ventilation calculator found on the Isonine Technical Support mobile app. Ensure sprayer and helper are wearing full personal protective equipment including a supplied air respirator with full face protection and chemically resistant gloves and full body protection to prevent skin contact. For information on the full PPE necessary, refer to Isonine's training video on PPE requirements. Install eave vents, vent baffles and ridge or roof vents as required. Remove the existing insulation from the floor of the attic before applying isonine spray foam. The area can either be vacuumed or, if contaminated or hazardous material are present, the area must be cleaned using methods specified by an occupational hygienist. Pay attention to the building codes in your area. A polyethylene vapor barrier or vapor retarder paint may be required to control vapor diffusion through the assembly. Alternately, the interior paint may be sufficient to control vapor diffusion. After testing spray equipment outside of the building, bring hoses and spray gun into the work area by a direct route. Tape and seal all HVAC duct joints if there is any duct work in the attic. Provide a 3-inch clearance around all pot lights and exhaust fan housings. Apply isonine spray foam as required, making sure to provide the coverage specified in the contract while also encapsulating ducts, as well as exhaust fan and pot light housings and sealing all rough openings and penetrations. Apply ignition barrier insulation or coating on areas required by code. If mineral fiber insulation is used to supplement R value, an additional coating is not required. After spraying, clean up any debris in the work area and remove surplus material and all spray equipment such as spray guns and hoses from the attic while still wearing full personal protective equipment. After the required ventilation period, remove any ceiling between the work area and the living area. Turn on the HVAC system and remove warning signs. Following these steps will allow you to successfully air seal and add insulation in a conventional vented attic. Isonine has been used in vented attic assemblies for over 25 years. These systems continue to perform very well and generate substantial energy savings.